Before the market opened this morning, we announced that SoftBank is making an investment of $900 million in the company to support the acceleration of our growth initiatives. We are excited to partner with SoftBank as they can help us expand our reach on a global scale. We believe that this investment validates our leadership position in long read sequencing and will help us enable, enable us to accelerate the expansion of our product portfolio, expand our commercial footprint, and ultimately to realize our vision that whole genome sequencing using our technology will become a fundamental tool for the use in a broad range of both research and clinical applications. On our last earnings call, I described some of our key priorities, and I am pleased to report that we're making progress on a number of fronts, including our ability to execute and grow the business. Our newly launched SQL 2E was well received by our customers, which drove an increase in orders. Additionally, we received several multi-system orders from customers like the Welcome Sanger Institute and Barry Genomics. We delivered and installed 35 new SQL 2 and 2E systems during the fourth quarter and ended the year with an installed base of 203 SQL 2 and 2E systems. Now I'd like to provide a few updates and comments regarding the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on our business. Going into Q4, we were cautious about the potential impact that the resurgence of in infection rates in Europe and the United States would have on our sales for the quarter. Fortunately, just about all of our existing customers were operating throughout the quarter. And as I said before, average utilization on SQL 2 systems was higher in Q4 than it was prior to the pandemic. It should be noted that travel limitations did prevent us from installing some systems during the quarter, but the strength of the SQL 2 e orders enabled us to overcome these challenges. Looking forward, we believe that the pandemic will continue to cause some uncertainty in our revenue outlook as shutdowns could impact our ability to install new systems. And we believe that some customers may remain conservative with respect to capital spend. Additionally, on the top of, topic of COVID, the emergence of the more infectious mutations in the UK, South Africa, and elsewhere over the last few months has reinforced the need for more expansive and robust viral surveillance strategies. Governments and public health organizations around the world are moving quickly to identify and track the different COVID strains in their communities. Notably in the United States, the CDC contracted with LabCorp in early January to support the scale up of COVID sequencing using PacBio Hi-Fi technology. The COVID-19 whole genome hi-fi sequencing assay was developed as a research collaboration between scientists at the CDC, LabCorp, and PacBio beginning in early 2020. Already this year, LabCorp has purchased several additional SQL 2E systems, SQL 2 systems to ramp up their surveillance testing with hi-fi COVID sequencing. And we look forward to working with LabCorp to continue to scale their operation, a service this global need. It's exciting to see that their efforts are already making an impact as LabCorp was the first to identify the new South Africa variant in South Carolina and Virginia just last week. We're pleased to announce that PacBio will now be making this high, this high throughput protocol widely available to commercial laboratories, academic researchers, and public health institutions globally who wish to stand up robust, high throughput surveillance programs locally. We believe use of PacBio's highly accurate long read hi-fi sequencing chemistry for COVID surveillance offers distinct advantages over other technologies, including fewer amplicon dropouts, easier amplicon balancing, and the ability to phase COVID genomes which can detect the different strains infecting a given individual. We are proud to have contributed to the assay development that LabCorp and the CDC are now using to understand and get ahead of this rapidly mutating virus. We plan to build on this experience to further bring the benefits of our technology to bear in the fight against COVID. Shifting gears to population scale projects, 
As a result of the pandemic, some delays persist in the ramp up of lar certain large sequencing projects, such as the All of Us Human Genome Sequencing Project in the United States, and to a lesser extent, the Darwin Tree of Life Plant and Animal Sequencing Project in the United Kingdom. However, the Welcome Sanger Institute, where the Darwin Tree of Life samples are going to be sequenced, has started to prepare its facility to generate 2,000 high quality reference genomes over the next two years. In anticipation of receiving those samples, the Welcome Sanger Institute ordered seven new SQL 2E systems this past quarter. Some of those systems were installed last quarter, and we expect the balance to be installed in the first half of this year. Moving on to other business highlights, I'd like to discuss our collaboration with Invite that we announced last month. PacBio and Invite share a vision that whole genome sequencing using PacBio HiFi Read in a routine clinical setting has the potential to fundamentally transform the genetic testing industry. Together, we are partnering to bring this vision to reality. Currently, Invite processes hundreds of thousands of samples per year. We believe that there is a significant opportunity to move the majority of those samples to whole genome sequencing, which is why we are working with Invite to develop a new ultra high throughput sequencer and workflow that is expected to be capable of operating at production scale. Under the agreement, Invite will fund the development costs as well as provide input on scaled clinical workflows. The new system is expected to enable Invite to sequence up to hundreds of thousands of samples every year in a medium-sized production facility. Upon completion of the new sequencer, PacBio will make the new system and associated consumables available to Invite at preferential pricing for a defined period of time. In addition, PacBio will have the ability to commercialize the new sequencer to other customers as well. Given the expected scale of the new system, we would expect labs involved with running production scale whole genome projects to be candidates for placements of the new system. Developing an ultra high throughput sequencer is an important step in our strategy to move towards a broad portfolio of systems and capabilities that allow our customers to choose the right system for their needs and for their budget. The collaboration with Invite is expected to run for five years. Over the first few years, we plan to develop the new sequencing platform and related workflows. We expect to rapidly hire more than 50 new people into our R&D organization, which will dramatically increase our R&D expense. While Invite will re be reimbursing us for these additional expenses, those reimbursement dollars may not be accounted for as an offset to these expenses. As far as revenue is concerned, we do not expect any revenue cont contribution stemming from the direct collaboration for the next few years. However, once the new system is commercially available, we expect to see a very significant increase in revenue led by sales to Invite. And before I get to organizational updates, I'd like to share some customer highlights that really demonstrate the power and the potential of PacBio HiFi sequencing technology. First, we'd like to congratulate Dr. Dennis Lowe and colleagues at the Chinese University of Hong Kong on the development of a new method for highly accurate simultaneous determination of DNA sequence and CPG methylation in one go, published in the PNAS journal in January. This new method will help researchers explore the impact of epigenetic changes in humans and other organisms and has great potential in clinical research and eventually diagnostics in cancer and other disease areas where methylation changes are known to be important disease markers. We'd also like to congratulate the team at Hudson's Alpha Institute of Biology for their work in leveraging PacBio HiFi Read to help diagnose children with rare disease who still are lacking an answer after short read sequencing. Their recent paper, paper published in Human Genetics and Genomics Advances demonstrates the power of HiFi sequencing to capture more of the variation across the genome 
which gives investigators and clinicians more information to make a diagnosis, saving precious time and resources and reducing the diagnostic odyssey. Shifting now to our organizational team, we are thrilled to have Mark Van Owen on board as our new chief operating officer. Mark has deep experience in genomics and brings a strong voice of customer into our R&D and operations organization or organizations. In addition, Mark will be responsible for leading our corporate development activities, which will become increasingly important as we expand. We are also excited to have Peter Froman on board as our chief commercial officer. Peter has been at the forefront of population scale sequencing initiatives around the world and his vision and ability to execute will move our commercial organization to new levels. In addition to Mark and Peter, we have also recently hired four additional commercial executives who will lead critical areas in product and strategic marketing, as well as commercial operations. As I've indicated on our last call, a key strategy for the company is to increase our direct sales force globally. We're making great progress in this area as we've hired over 10 new quota carrying sales personnel over the past few months, which puts us well on our way toward more than doubling our sales force. We expect our new sales reps to come up to speed over the first few quarters after they come on board and then become part of the engine that drives consistent revenue growth. To summarize, I am very encouraged by our performance in the fourth quarter. For the second consecutive quarter, we met or exceeded our internal revenue targets. We have kick-started the new year with what promises to be a transformational collaboration with Invitae, and we have made significant progress in expanding our team to drive future growth.